What's up everybody? This is a quick video. Um, I just bought this heart workbench yesterday. It was on sale for $54. Um, and it is very similar to the Keter bench. Uh, and I'm not going to get too much into it, but I just wanted to go over the quality of the bench. Now, when I first got it, it was all wrapped up. It breaks down in very nicely. But if you look at the legs, if you look at the legs, here's what I wanted to show. Uh, these legs right here, like I think that this is a really terrible idea. They had to, had tape going over the legs telling you not to open the legs <laughs> with your hand. But why, I mean, this just caused, I mean, it didn't cause damage to the mechanism, no, but this caused damage to the way this thing looked. I could probably get some uh, goof off or some goo gone to get this off, but I, I don't like that. Uh, another thing, the mold wasn't done in a perfect manner. And mind you, I've only been really looking at this thing for like five minutes. I just got done. But this, I have no idea what this was attached to. So there's that 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 the uh, plastic trash and then these little things right here they they, ser they serve no purpose i just bit my tongue but they serve no purpose but the finish on this was not too bad but the finish on this one was really bad i had to actually peel off all the extra where is it at? i thought i left it on the table to show okay here's some of the remnants i had to peel off because it was hanging up and hanging off and I don't want to cut myself later on on that so I had to pull that off uh another thing we look at the finish of these sliders here now this is where your clamps go uh and I like the feature but again the finish is just not really there well, let's look at it right there that just looks like something was chewing on it you see on this side it's fine i mean this right side is is is, is pretty much i want to say perfect because there's discoloration on the plastic here and it's rough it has a rough feel so the finish isn't perfect uh, but over here it's not even level you guys see that of course you can uh, and again right here this is kind of chewed up there now just to illustrate how easy it is to break this thing down though and this is the tape that was on there foolishness there's probably some more issues down here and whatnot but i didn't really get into that but you see right there the finish again it's not perfect but again for 54 dollars, i don't think this thing is bad at all it holds a thousand pounds and it sets up and breaks down really easily i'll do a quick demonstration First, I'll just show how to get the clamps in and out. To get it out, you're going to want to compress it here. You slide it back and lift it out and pull it out. And it comes out just like that. Now, if you want to put it in, let's go ahead and practice putting it in this one because, you know, the mold is off. But it has these two notches at the end. You want to put that in. Those aren't really notches, but y'all get what I mean. Slide that in. And then here, we have to, we're going to lift it up some more. And we're going to lower, I'm sorry. We're going to lift it up some more. We're going to lower it down so that these go down in there. But you have to compress this. So you have to pull the trigger, lower it down, let it go, and it's in place. So very easy. I'm going to take it out. it out and now I'm going to demonstrate how to break it down and how to set it up
So very easy to set up and break down. Overall, I think for $54, this thing is amazing. And now I don't have to worry about trying to hold things while I cut them, especially for this upcoming video. And uh, that was pretty much it. Just a quick video to show you guys how the Heart Workbench works. And uh, see you guys next time.